Right, today, something really interesting for you. And today, we're gonna to talk about this Scott, which is a Scott Fine Squirrel, 1937 or 38, can't remember offhand now. Um, it's one that was found in a barn. It was sold at an auction, and it's been off the road over 20 years. Now, we're gonna cover this one in a different way, something different because the time it takes to do like the filming today, I'm going to do short little bits of filming in the workshop as this uh, project comes along. Basically, it's got to be recommissioned. Now, we need to take the sidecar off, which we would probably do today, and put the solo up on the bench. So, right, the engine, Scott 600, two stroke. Something different for us to do here. I know we've done the Bantam, but um, Scott's were very advanced. I mean, back in the 30s before the war. This is 37, I remember now. Um, she's twin, twin cylinder, parallel twin, water jackets. So she's water cooled, very similar to what people see in a Japanese bike, a TZ Yamaha racing bike. So you have here a very powerful two stroke engine, Pilgrim pump. Uh, we have on here, we have fuel and petrol, and we have Basically, it's, it's mixed in the engine. It's a very primitive setup. Uh, we're going to that as we take the bike down, but the oil is a drip feed through the pump. It supplies through the crank. It's thrown inside the engine. It mixes in the engine. So there's a lubrication. So we've got two separate tanks here. Very nice radiator, honeycomb. Uh, there's a name for that. I can't remember what it is quite, but it's like a honeycomb. Um, foot change. Um, not hand change, foot change. And we have some nice features on here. If you look at the horn here, we've got the screw on there. It's a bike that's not been molested. It's still very much how it would have been when it left the factory. We've even got the original um, toolboxes on here, which are half metal, half leather. This one isn't so bad, but this side, I'm afraid the mice have got into it. It's um, Got the single adult chair, so in the day, dad would have been on the sidecar. Probably mum would have been in there, or the son maybe, or the daughter, and someone else on the back. So the chair itself, it's all in fairly good order. The screen obviously with the sun is slightly damaged, so we're gonna get a new screen for it. But the canvas, this should all clean up. We're not going to stretch it out today, but I think once we get that treated and get it warmed up, it will work. We've got a little bit of work to do on the buttoning down, but um, here, I've undone it so you can have a look inside. Here would be, obviously, going on holiday, you put your luggage in the back, but there would have been a small battery in here. Um, I think it's still six volt, it wouldn't have been converted. This on the side here is a voltage regulator. So the battery would have been in there, small storage. So we close that up. We need to replace all these straps. We're, gonna, we're not going to over-restore this. It's going to be a recommission, but we're putting new tyres on, and we're cleaning the paintwork up. We don't want to lose any of those features. Because it's, 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 if you restore something, I feel that it loses something. This has, it has blemishes and knocks and things, and that tells a story. It's better to keep it as it is, really. Right, so how you get into sidecar, we've got catch here. Right, I'm not gonna force anything because it's... And we just lift this up. And you would just step in there and the seat has obviously been uh, recovered. I should imagine this part is original here, but that's gonna stay as it is. Um, it's, it's fairly good, all the woodwork, this is, actually this, this is, it's only got a little bits of wood on it, actually, in here. I think it's all in fairly good order. But I say we'll have the sidecar off. We're more likely to have the, the actual chair off the, um, off the chassis as well. That is the steering damper, which is uh, obviously got to be sorted out. Just a friction damper. And this will go down through the top here. And you would put tension on. Basically, you have a friction washer down below and it puts pressure onto the steering head. And we'll talk briefly about the front of it in a moment. 
So what we have, we have girder forks. Now girder forks, they give you a nice ride, really nice ride, because what you'll find is it's the frame that moves, the forks don't move. If I'm pushing that down, you'll see that the whole, all of this is moving, but the forks don't move. It gives a lovely ride. It works with friction washers on both sides. There's a friction washer in there, and you have a big spring at the center. It's a bit like a monoshock, really, but it does give you a lovely ride, especially with a sidecar. Other things to talk about, really. Uh, it's got sensible lighting too. Um, that's still original. We have the, the crinkle glass and that's a nice feature I and mean, it hasn't been replaced. And what's nice about this bike is I wouldn't think anything really has been replaced. The original rims, the tyres, the perish, can put new tyres on like I mentioned just now. But the tin wear, it's not rusted away. You know, and the radiator, the honeycomb rad, it, you know, it's, it's not knocked about and uh, hopefully it won't leak. But so what we'll have to do, obviously have the wheels out, obviously we're doing the tyres, we'll probably put new brake shoes in here. And, um, you know, it, it'll look nice when it's done. But we've just got to make sure, and what I'm going to say to people is, my, my knowledge on a Scott at the moment, I've never worked on one before, so I need to do my research. Before we do anything really, I need to get as much information as possible before we start pulling it down. We've got to know about the sealing of the water jackets with a cork, and as I mentioned about two strokes having seals, we don't know what type of seals that's got in there. I think it's probably early. It's, it's too early to have like your normal like um, oil seal lip seal. I might be wrong but I need to do the research. We need to know how far we need to go with that. Also because it's got Pilgrim pump we need to make sure the oiling is correct. Probably when we first fire this up we'll probably put a pre-mix in, in the petrol tank just to make sure it's got lubrication before we trust the main part of the lubrication through this pump lubing the engine. But I think it would make a nice bike. Um, I can see one thing missing here We've got a tap here which is the oiling and that oils down into the crankcase but it's also there's a t-piece here with a dial here so you can obviously regulate a flow now that might well be an oiler for the chain here which runs to the gearbox on this side and maybe there's also a, a drip to the rear chain i don't know but that is missing i need to research that but um, it kicks over, we just kick it over, and we have compression. So I would say it's a good engine. It's not going to be a massive amount of work. As long as there's no leaks, and we know the pump's okay, we clean the car out. The dynamo, we'll probably send that off to a chap I know, here run through that and it makes sure it's, it's um, working okay and give, him a, give us a guarantee on that and also he yeah, reconditioned the voltage regulator. Um, it's worth getting that done because I've got a feeling the guy wants to take this to Ireland so he wants to do a bit of touring around so we want it right but it'll clean up. It's a nice bike. Okay so what we're going to do uh, but first of all, we'll put some bits of wood underneath the solo, underneath the motorcycle, because once you've detached the mounts, it's going to fall over. And there's no stand, so we can't flip the stand down. And then we need to soak the bolts. I need to uh, undo the wiring. Then we can part the chair from the, side, the, um, chair from the um, solo. So that's what we're going to do. We need to soak all the fasteners. There's four points of contact here, really. Got one, two, three, well, sorry, one, two, three, and four. That's the stabiliser. Also, we need to just mark where it's fitted because when we fit, when we fit the chair back on, we must make sure we get it set up correctly.
so what we need to do next we need to disconnect the wiring from the motorcycle to the chair I just looked at a loom there's quite a lot that goes through and I don't want to don't want to damage that we're going to disconnect it in here because all we've got in here is a voltage regulator basically and there'll be a light wire that goes to the back light which is down there so that's the easiest way and then we can drop the cables out the bottom good idea just to because on the regulator here the wires aren't color coded to what they normally should be so just use your phone take a photo will help when you come to put it back together So one thing we don't want to do is lose anything of the originality to it because you cut the wiring, you put a joiner in and it hasn't been done so let's try and keep everything to a minimal really, what we're cutting or removing. So it's easier just to take this regulator off and take the wires off. Okay so I'm going to take your chair off now. Bearing in mind old British bike, always make sure you've got the right tools. Whitworth spanners and something like this is 5 8 Whitworth big spanner combination so we're under the back nut here and we just work through it but yeah don't try and do it with AS spanners you can get these Whitworth spanners they're quite available through the right channels so yeah off we go Okay, so Scott's on the bench as a solo. So we've taken the sidecar off, and considering probably it's never been off the sidecar before, the fittings actually came undone okay. A little bit awkward, we had to disconnect the wiring first and pull it away from the um, solo. Uh, but she's on the bench, and I think now we need to, uh, well I need to finish some other jobs first, and we need to just do a bit of research, pick up the workshop manual, parts list and just have a good look at it now it's on the bench and see where we're going with it but it's going to be a nice job it's going to be interesting and uh, nice to see a two-stroke you know and uh, especially for sidecar because I haven't ever seen a Scott and sidecar combination before so it's going to be quite nice to do this so yeah uh, not a re not a, um, a full restoration recommission and we keep all the original features. We don't want to lose that because that tells a story and it's a survivor. It's 1937, so we're going to keep it as much as it is now. New tyres and go for it like I've already said to you. But yeah, been a really good day. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, I'll keep you updated on anything that I do in the workshop like I mentioned earlier.